Hundreds of baby chicks have died. Farmers are blaming the leadership at the Postal Service. Now, recently here in Maine, people who have ordered these baby chickens from hatcheries had them sent by the Postal Service and they opened the boxes to find dead and, and rotting creatures. NECN's Dustin Vlodkowski talked to a woman who had that happen to her today. It literally was like a Stephen King novel. For Jennifer Jones and her daughter Skylar. We usually have extra chickens on hand. Raising hens from chicks, getting them in the mail. <laughs> and we've always been able to rely on the USPS. Is something routine they've done for more than a decade. We actually had an order in April that came perfect, beautiful, no problems. And then this summer, we ordered another order. We got a call from the post office. It sounded really uh, distressed, telling us to come quickly. A 20-minute drive later, the pair found themselves at Portland's post office, stunned. We could smell something horrible, horrible. We knew that there were chicks that had not survived the trip. In a box of 25 chicks, only eight were alive. The baby chicks that survived had dead body parts on them. The families had all kinds of breeds of chickens for 15 years, so to have this happen was distressing. This doesn't happen. We, we've ordered boxes of 100 chicks, and once one was dead, one, one in 15 years. You know, it's just shocking. Maine Congresswoman Shelley Pingree is just as upset as the Joneses, says they're not alone. We've gotten almost 2,000 calls or communications to our offices. Pingree, a Democrat, blames the White House and Postmaster General Louis DeJoy for the problems, says they're part of the larger changes now being scrutinized by Congress. We didn't have this problem six months ago. Um, they seem to be taking out the sorting machines, ripping up the mailboxes. Jennifer and Skyler say that needs to stop so no one finds themselves losing animals, spending hundreds of dollars to euthanize dying birds. Something they say isn't fair to them or anyone else. I can't imagine for the postal workers when they get a box like this and they know that there's something wrong, that, that, that the chicks haven't survived. I think the U.S. postmaster needs to step down. I don't think he should have a hearing. In Falmouth, Dustin Blikowski, New Center, Maine. We should mention U.S. Postmaster General Louis DeJoy is expected to appear in front of a Senate panel tomorrow.